here we have a really original working place. It's exactly the same we have also in the factory. But we are doing every day 60,000 pocket knife, and then you can imagine it's not only just this table. Um, most of them are produced by machines automatically, and the rest of this more than 400 models uh, are produced with tables like this. Exactly. That means really old style table without electricity, just a mechanical table, foot pedal. Then here to pull and release and lift up, and that's all what we need. And of course the tools we need to produce this knife is called Spartan, a two-layer knife, especially uh, it's the mother of all knives here by Victorinox, and 100% um, uh, uh, a friend for your life. So I start now with uh, with uh, rivets. This is uh, brass rivets from uh, the outside. I will start then to build up a kind of basement. And this is now the smaller one. And there are rings. So, and then I have here uh, three rivets and I lift them up to a basement like this. Uh, they're standing now uh, strong there and are fixed between these uh, steel blocks. So, the next thing is I start now with the knife body itself. This is the front side, it's aluminum. Aluminum means uh, it's really lightweight, it's not heavy anymore. The first knife there was everything from steel. That means the pockets was, of course the pants was stronger in the early times I think so, the knife also. But now uh, we have a really lightweight pocket knife. Aluminum. So I put this over the other three rivets and push down the pedal and then I got this on the right position with every uh, with the four rivets we need. But then I start here with the with the spring. That's a typical Swiss Army knife spring, spring steel. It's uh, not the same steel, for example, like the, the blades. The blades is another another kind of steel. Also the screwdrivers. It's not the same steel. It depends what they have to do. A blade has to be sharp, resharpened, flexible, etc., etc. And this and the spring has just to go up and down, forward and back. I put this in in the center here, and then I put on the, the tool, the first tool. This is a, a can opener with a small screwdriver. Who has a pocket knife from you, from Victoria? You? Someone else? You? You? Yeah. Ah, uh, you should, uh, you should. Maybe also a watch, huh? it's a good decision. Highly recommend it. And here is a reamer, a punch to making holes through leather belts, for example, or wood, plastic, etc. This is a, a big screwdriver, a cap lifter and a wire stripper. This is also a function. So, I put this on over the rivet number four and now I have everything on the right place. But, everything is doing what they want. So. Uh, and now we need to pressure, we have to, to make corrections on this. We need to pressure on the tools, I push down the pedal now, and there is a, now with this, and there is a piece of steel. This piece of steel, push back the spring, till it's gone to the same level. And now everything is on the same level, in one line, and then the, the spring is between the rivets and the tools, and that makes the pressure to the tool. So, that's the first layer, done. And I put in the middle divider, foot pedal, the second spring. And here the interesting part of this is of course we have, this was the first spring and as you can see it's completely a different spring, shape-wise, huh? it's completely another one. That means the question about customizing our knives is uh, complicated or not so much possible because every po tool has to, to be every time on the same spring or position. So that means on this this kind of spring needs on the left the big knife, in the middle the corkscrew. In this case we need a, a washer, a, spy, a spacer to lift up the small knife. Go in here, put it over and then the small knife. And now a question, maybe someone uh, knows this story or the question is why is the small knife in the knife? Because we have here a knife on the left, and then we put a smaller knife to the right. What's the reason for that? Any to ideas? To kill midgets. To kill midgets? Not no. really. No. Okay. no. <laughs> Not really. To kill is bad. To kill with a knife is bad. No. Uh, there's a really old uh, history behind. This layer was developed uh, firstly in 1897 
And this, the idea, and it was really a long time ago, the idea was with this tool to get an eraser in the knife. Because in these times they erased a lot of wrong written letters, drawings, etc., etc., with small, sharp blades. There was specially eraser knives with more than 10 small blades in there to erase something. And this was, and he sold about one tool, a completely high quality tool to erase something. Okay. The story behind this, this is not a blade, it's not a small blade, it's an eraser. It's called eraser. It's also now. It's Radierer in German. So, that's the story behind. And now I push this on, I put this on, I got the pressure, I lift this up and again, pull back the spring and it's done. On every time, on every single tool, it's the pressure with one spring. Okay, now we have the two layers, it's done. We have now the back side. And we put on the, the rings outside and also in the middle the smaller one. So, one more time and now the knife is done, the first part. I keep it really careful between my fingers and if we have done a good job, then we hear four clicks. One, two, three and four. So. That's part number one. And now we move to this wonderful working place. To cut them off to make the heads on this side, they're doing that really manually. We're doing that, by the way, we can repair. We have a, a, a big repair center in Switzerland, also in, in other countries, to repair knives. It's possible to repair, uh, uh, to change every single tool, is something broken or it's not running really well, to change scales and stuff. We can do it really well and really also old knives. That's possible. Huh? So here I do it now. I cut them off. I don't need the whole rivet. So. And then I do it just really simple with the hammer. Important from this here, from this side is to get straight and not too hard. And of course not too, of course not too loose. There has to be exactly on the right pressure. Ah, let's go. Let's go. Careful on your thumb. Yeah, I got a new one downstairs. <laughs> so, and river number four, so. Okay, if this work is done, now. The knife wheel doesn't fall apart, that's a good news, but I don't know really, I'm not really sure is it the right pressure. For that, first, before I ch check the knife and go on out with the tools and put in oil, that's important. And that, you can do that also at home. Just a little bit oil, that's the best medicine for a knife. To clean it as good as you can, and then let it dry and a little bit oil, and then you will uh, see it will be much, much better. So, and then, what, what I want to check is not loose to the side at all. So, really zero room between. And the pressure is right if the, the blade is going in by herself, like this. And then I know, yes, the pressure is good. And the spring also, a good spring is doing that. A good spring is holding the tool or pull the tools in, in her place. So, and then the, every single tool I have to check. Okay, good. The knife is done. And now I have the, the scales. The scales, they are also produced in Switzerland by our company. And a little bit flexible. Huh? And the system now here is, they are flexible and they have the knife, the rings. They have a small flange outside now. They have to hold the knife together plus the scale and then we can put it on here and here and the, all what I have to do is put them together that's a really simple system but it's it's durable and the good thing about this we can remove that really simple to go just in here and clip it off and then you can go uh, do repairs or stuff wow. and then uh, yeah, it's working really well. And then I put on the... Key ring. And of course, toothpick. 
If the ladies know the tweezer, a really famous tweezer, it's working really well. Put in and the small screwdriver. This screwdriver is uh, for sunglasses, Glasses. for example, or um, watch. Uh, watch, maybe, maybe. I'm not a watchmaker. I'm really just a knife, <laughs> just a knife maker. And watches are who? <laughs> um, yeah, and ten clothes and uh, a small little strap. And then the knife is done. That's how it works. How the system is. And uh, yeah.